don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us, but you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. People are throwing stones at my family, Alfred. I need to understand why. It's my family, too. Don't forget that. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. Wow, it's just okay. Not possible. That kind of money taints you. Go to hell. I'm already there, Bruce. Right alongside you. I didn't think it was going to take this turn. That's interesting. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Oh, it's good to know I was everything a burden. Everything I did, everything I've ever done was out of love <laughs> for you. I hope you can forgive me. Nope. Oh, that was weird. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. I don't know. I thank you. I won't. Very inconsistent with what again. I just said, but fuck it. Whatever. So I don't like those timed this is the first things. Time I've been like, back give me some. Since give me more night. time to make a decision here. When the police called me you know? to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. Joe Chill. He was simply too well known. Quite too, the name. Too big. Yet, there it was. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Hmm. Well, by the way, what's going on, guys? I'm Jake, the offensive gamer, and this is uh, Telltale's Batman, Episode 2. And uh, it's been a while since I've really uploaded videos in general. Um, I I've given the explanation already, but I, I think I'll be back uh, more consistently now. Pain in the jaw area is, is fine at this point. Um, or at least manageable. Otherwise, yeah. Let's investigate. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I wouldn't trust myself around him. Batman doesn't kill. That's why I wouldn't trust myself. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Ah. Well, I'm glad that they're not going that direction with, like, a redemption. Or not even redemption, but, like, revenge sort of thing. Just because 
Like every Batman story ever has done that, and it's just kind of boring in my opinion. And up to this point, this game has impressed me in its originality, or at least I think its originality. Despite its uh, constant reference to the parent murder and all that. But at this point, I kind of figure that's obligatory. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. It's very colorful. I like it. Like off in the distance. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. You know what? Where I'm exactly actually starting to does turn a little bit on this. With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? There are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? What I appreciated so much about the first episode of this, I'll continue in a second. What I appreciated so much in the first episode of this was it reflected so much on the human element of Batman, like which no Batman story really does with the exception of maybe like Mask of Phantasm. Um, but this really seems to be doing that. So to an extent, I'm actually kind of becoming a little bit more interested in this, despite the fact that we've gone over this exact story revolving Batman a million times over with his parents' death. But it's not really about pa uh, Batman's parents. It's about Bruce Wayne's parents. And I think that that's the key difference and might make this story original, you know? with uh, already used source material. Holy shit! He got shot in the fucking eye! That's insane. That is fucking brutal. Not convenient that you're remembering this now. Falcone knows why. That was holy shit. Like the the shot in the eye really drives that home, man. That's some like Walking Dead shit. I did not expect to see that out of this. Man, I like it though. That's this is this is cool. Like before, it's like a senseless mugging. Falcone like this. And this, there's motive. I That's like interesting. Rules were breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that, Harv, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time you disappeared behind closed doors with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, 
but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. This is a personal matter, Harvey. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. Harvey's not in my pocket, Lieutenant. He always does what he thinks is right. Well, it's lucky your interests align. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. I know he does a lot for the department, but honestly, Batman freaks me out. Oh, he's definitely freaky. But I'm glad he's out there watching over the city. I don't remember if that's consistent with what I said in episode right, one, Falcone's but inside. I like this one better. You say what you got to say. We'll be out here. That's the thing about doing these episodes as they come out. It's like several months before you don't really remember uh, what you said in the first one. Ooh. I like it. I like the little presentation there. That was nice. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. <laughs> this is nothing. You should have seen me before I became boss. I'd show up all beat to hell. Your father had sewn me back together. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. Watch it, Falcone. I still see some unbroken bones. <laughs> Tough guy, eh? I bet you came to kick some answers out of me, huh? Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> Damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Hmm. I feel like there's a decision coming. Fuck it. for you. Gordon, too. I won't rob them of that. Good boy. Yeah. That's why you were kept in the dark. He loved you, you know. He 
did it all for you. He protected his own. But if you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Kind of like Still, mine. <laughs> made us all rich, including you. Some people just have the mind for it. He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. Oh, shit. They're waiting for you in hell. What? The bastard had to die. <laughs> Looks like she took something. <laughs> Hands in the air. Stand down. Get a doctor. Secure this floor. No one gets in or out. Go. Go. They just fucking killed Cal uh, Falcone. Jesus Christ, this is... Okay, alright. Pause for a second. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. So, this game keeps surprising me. With, like, all the things that... That just keeps popping up on you, right? And I don't know, man. I, I don't want to take too much time up, but... Um, I, I'm going to have to collect my thoughts a little bit. But the one thing I will say is that um, I want to go over one quick, quick little thing that I, I did in that... Which was, I kind of was um, a little aggressive uh, as Bruce Wayne there. And I guess sort of what I'm thinking with the character is that Batman's always like this really relaxed, calm, um, methodical character. You know, he, he's always in the driver's seat. He's always thinking of what the logical and, and uh, most beneficial step is to take. What I'm thinking with this... The interesting thing is he's, he's, he's messing with something that's very personal, so he's not going to be that guy. Combined with the fact that he's very young, you know, this is a very early Batman on top of it. So he's not the same guy he would be when he's 40. He's brash, he, he's quick to um, outbursts at, at times when it comes to this situation in particular. So it's just things like that, it seems consistent with his character to choke Falcone. Because fuck you, dude, you, you killed my parents, or at least as far as my knowledge. That's what you did. So, um, yeah, that's kind of my mindset behind the whole thing. And uh, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys that explanation because it sounds like that's sort of something you guys like, at least from the last episode. It's what it sounded like. Uh, yeah, anyway. Fuck, they killed Falcone. That's crazy. Brilliant. Better, like, figure out a way to be in the sky. You know, if you have, like, an endless supply of fuel on a, on a plane, that would probably be the best Symbol, though. I don't get that. Like, it's building up to something, it seems. Oh, it's a finishing move. That's pretty cool. 